buckle up, we're hitting the road. Road trip style. That ain't good. You know what? On today's episode of Bar Around Town, let's go to the kitchen. And today, I'm in the kitchen. That's right, today we're gonna be cooking Shakespearean meals. You all know who I am, the operations coordinator for Part of the Beach, but I'm not really a good cook. So that's why I'm here with... Jocelyn. <laughs> I'm box office supervisor. I like tickets, but I also like baking. You might have heard my voice, but you've probably seen the face of... And I'm Alva, I'm the annual giving and events officer. I'm just excited to eat and drink. I'm going to make salmon poached in beer. Alva, what are you making? I'm making lemon cakes with a cider glaze and cider dressing. I'm making apple fritters and a turnip and cheese dish. Perfect. We're socially distanced. We're ready to cook. Let's start. All right, so we're gonna start with the lime and cakes here, and we have two and a half cups of flour and two cups of sugar, which sounds like a lot, but that's what the recipe says, and we're gonna follow it to a T for the first time and see how it turns out. I'm gonna turn this to 350 Fahrenheit. We're ready. So next, you're gonna cut in six tablespoons of unsalted butter. Do you know why it's called Lyman Cakes? No, Max, tell me why. Well, you see, Lyman is the old French word for lemon. Add in one egg and then two egg yolks, and then you just mix everything until everything is all smooth. This seems a little dry. Guess I have to add in cider. Pie's ready! For you see, in Shakespeare's day, People didn't have ovens in their homes. Well, most people didn't. So to cook a pie or cake, they would take it to their local baker. And when the pie or cake was finished, the apprentice of the baker would come out and yell, pie's ready. Is it ready yet? No. <laughs> okay, so once you have enough liquid in, you just wanna make sure that the dough is at a consistency where you can pull it up and then roll it into a ball about one inch and then place it onto your baking sheet. Mine eyes smell onions. I shall weep a nun. All's well that ends well. I'm gonna throw them in for 15 minutes or wait until they're golden brown on top. Okay, so we're gonna make the glaze now and we're gonna use icing sugar or confectioner's sugar and cider. Oh no, I don't think this is enough. One third of a cup of icing sugar in. Then one and a half teaspoons of cider. It's definitely a little much, but that's okay. So you're mixing the icing sugar with the cider and you're getting it to about this consistency, which looks, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it looks like ambergris, which was whale excretion used by the Elizabethans to spice their food. Beautiful. For our turnip and cheese dish, first boil one pound of turnips for 30 minutes. Why don't you slice me 10 ounces of cheddar cheese? Time to cut the cheese. <laughs> After the turnips have boiled, we're gonna cut them into thin slices and put them in the tray. 
For the spice mix, we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Next, we're gonna layer the cheese slices and the turnip slices in the pan. Hope this tastes good. After preheating the oven to 350 degrees, we're gonna put our turnips and cheese in here. And we're gonna cook it for about 30 minutes or until the cheese is melted. You cranberry cheese, Merry Wives of Windsor. Once the cheese is melted, we're gonna take out the turnips and then eat them while they're still hot. For the apple fritters, we're gonna core, peel, and dice three apples for the inside. For the apple fritter dough, we're gonna put one and a half cups of flour, a quarter cup of sugar, uh, two teaspoons of baking powder, um, half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. And we're just gonna whisk it together. Then we're gonna make a well in the center and add a third cup of milk, two eggs, and three tablespoons of applesauce, and then stir to combine. Okay, so after mixing, we're gonna fold in our apples. When your batter's finished, we're gonna heat up the oil, um, oil for frying, so like canola oil, not olive oil. Uh, we're gonna heat it up to less than halfway in your Dutch oven. 275 degrees, and then we're gonna pop a quarter cup of the batter in. And then cook it until golden brown. Time to boil some fish. I'm making the Shakespearean dish of boiled salmon and beer. Now it's not just beer. I also have 500 milliliters of water alongside some beer. Thank you, Whistler. Pour that in there. We also need to add the herbs. Now I've got rosemary and thyme. Now let's check on the salmon. Okay, time to cut up the salmon and to put it into the boiling pot of beer. Now, this is West Coast salmon, and Shakespeare definitely did not eat West Coast salmon. He had Atlantic salmon, but that's the twist on this episode. Now we gotta add the salmon in. There we go. Smell that. Looks good. Making salad for friends at home? Well, make sure you're wearing gloves and masks because we're not cooking the salad. We have to take extra precautions. Okay. Now, what kind of dressing are you making, Alva? Well, we don't have any apple cider vinaigrette, so I guess I'm just gonna use more cider. Nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna throw that in. So I have honey, some mustard, cider. I'm just gonna mix it all together, dump that in, and hope it doesn't overfill. Make sure everything's all mixed in well. Now, this is a traditional Shakespearean salad. So if you want to get more of the flavor in this, you can leave it marinating for about half an hour and then throw it in the fridge with a few leftovers. He's done mixing the salad almost. Mix it up. Oh, this looks fantastic. Well, thank you both for helping me cook some Shakespearean food today. Did we have fun? Yeah. All right. I hope you had fun too. Please like and subscribe to watch more videos from Bar on the Beach. And I also like to thank Lone Tree for sponsoring this episode. They made it delicious and extra fun, but please drink and eat responsibly. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Let's dig in. Cheers. Cheers.